you're with us on today. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to Sure Word Fellowship. Glory to God. We are so awesome. So awesome. You guys be in the presence of the Lord on today. Um, as I was going through with, okay, Lord, what is it that we should do? See, I've got study materials and that sort of thing over there. And it's just a different route. Hallelujah. Different route today. And that's to, today we're going to build on that that we have heard. And so the topic for today is hear and do. Hear and do. And we talked a little about it on yesterday because we were going over from our foundation Bible training which on Thursday night, we had uh, studied a little on what it takes to follow the Lord and how it's so very important to us that we be in line with that which God would have for us to do. And so in following the Lord, um, Jesus had told them, he said, hey, what you've got to those that are my mother, those that are my brother, those that are my sisters, are those that hear and do the will of the Lord. And so we've been really focusing on, well, what does that mean to hear? And then especially then to be doers. Think about it. When we were in uh, church and they would do um, a scripture, they would say, blessed are the hearers and the doers of this read word, this written word that is being read. And so we're going to build on that today. Um, and we thank the Lord that even as we do that, we're going to enter into our time of uh, fellowship and celebrating who God is because he's God. And that means a lot. People don't even realize what that means when we say that he is Lord, that he rules, that he's the one that everything that we have depends on him and him alone. And so... I thank God that we're not traditional, but we're going to do like the Lord says do. Yes. So, Lord, we just Amen. thank you for, God, this time of our fellowship. We thank you, for God, for this time of celebration, mm -hmm. Father, in the presence of the Lord, because that's where refreshing is. Yes. We have gone through summer heat, and we have gone through heat in our lives, heatful situations, heatful words that have been said, and places that we have been and thoughts that have entered our mind because we know that it is the enemy that fights against us and does not want us to walk in faith. And so, Lord, on today, we are reinforcing what the word says to fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. And so, Lord God, we have put our feet, amen, on straight street. We have put our hands to the plow and we refuse to look back in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, we stand even now, God, in your presence. And we, first of all, we forgive those, God, who have done things to us. God, we release them out of our spirit. We let it go, God, because we're coming to you. And we're asking you to have mercy on us. Lord, you know the things that we've been doing in our secret time in our secret conversations, Lord God, because you told us, oh God, that even those meditations that are on our heart, we've got to give an account for every idle word. Every idle word. That means that you are paying such close attention to us that, Lord, even the thought that goes across us. Mm -hmm. Father, even your word tells us that even the man, that it wasn't just that he had committed adultery, but, Father, to think about it. That was the sin already. And so because you are holy and we recognize that in our flesh dwells no. <laughs> Whew, that's an understatement. No good thing. We're coming on today, Father, to be strengthened by you. That we can go out and do what is pleasing in your sight. So we ask you to have mercy on us. We ask for that grace that comes under the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse us from all unrighteousness as we come before you honestly. And we thank you, Lord, for you are Lord. You are ruler and you're maker. And Lord, that you thought so much about us 
that while we were yet sinners, Christ died on the cross for us. So we give the praise, honor, and glory unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Glory. God, glory to God. And so this is just a, a awesome time for us now because what we're going to do is this is a participatory service, more so than um within than usual. That we're going to come on with amen, songs, hymns, spiritual songs, making grace and melody in our to our hearts to the Lord. I don't care if it's a song that has been sang the last three Sundays in a row. If it gives you joy. If it gives you peace, amen, that's the song that we're going to do. All right? Mm -hmm. So amen. If you And so you don't have to just be like trying to think on it mm -hmm. because if it, it comes to your heart, there may not even, it may be just a word, something that is spoken. We're going to focus on those things. I know that I was at a service on yesterday and there was a song that was saying that really, you know, I just listened to it when it was saying, you know, mm -hmm. soloist, that sort of thing. But then when... I was going more in the yard. I was hearing that just in my spirit. And I said, well, wow, thank you, Jesus, for that. Amen. And it was really talking about how we are safe in his arms. And the safest place to be is in the will of God. And so that's how I said, because the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass, and he leads me be beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing health, and what he honors the most. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. Saved. In his arms. And this is a part because, and we're already in the message. This is what it's about. He says, Because the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> so the reason why I'm safe in his arms is because the Lord is my shepherd. Shepherd. Amen. So in the natural, when we think about a shepherd, we think about a shepherd tends to his flock. Yes, he tends to his flock. And those flock are sheep. Those flocks are animals. And so anytime in scripture, when we talk about us as believers, we'll find that uh, the scripture will refer to us as cattle. Mm -hmm. We'll be referred to as sheep. And then if we're wanting to be disobedient, he'll refer to us as goats. <laughs> and we know that Jesus Christ himself is referred to as the lamb. And the lamb has a life of sacrifice. And so this shepherd has to leave from his home and go out and be in the field with animals to lead them to water, to lead them to green pasture. Because remember, they're in an open field. That means bear, foxes, anything could come. You know, we live here in Florida. Have a little pet chicken, a little bitty. Yeah. And, and you know, what'll, ha what'll happen? A hawk will come and get it. A hawk will come and get it. You have to keep that, you have to prepare a place that will keep the hawk out. So you just can't put the chicken in a fence. Because the hawk can fly in. So then you have to put little wires on top so that the hawk can't get in. But the Lord cares for us. So he says, because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass. And he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing health. And what I need, he honors me the most. That's why I'm saved. Come on now, think about it. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. 
safe in his arms. And then the song part goes, when the storms, when the storms of life are raging and the billows and the billows they roar I'm glad he shall hide me cause I'm saved in his arms and it's all because the Lord is my shepherd then he says I have everything I need. And then he talks about the resting. Talks about leading me. He talks about a quiet stream, a place of peace. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that when we get the songs of the Lord in us, he'll mm -hmm. give us a song. Mm -hmm. And then when he gives us that song, we need to think on what that song means. Mm -hmm. And this is the training where it tells us to meditate because we've already studied throughout our scriptures yeah. about how it says with hymns and melodies, and grace unto the Lord. This is what we do. How do we keep joy in our hearts? How do we lay hold on this salvation and let it strengthen us? It's because then we've got to do it in our mindset. We'll focus our mind on him day and night that it makes good success. Because there's a, um, there's a, uh, a term that we use called life imitates art. Life imitates art in the way that uh, we all are familiar with uh, the, the movies about the KKK. Mm -hmm. And they would burn crosses, right? Mm -hmm. They would burn a cross in the yard. Y'all familiar with that mm -hmm. history? Okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm talking natural now. Mm -hmm. Things that are really happening. Yeah. The, the KKK used to not burn crosses in yards. Nope. It was a movie that came out in 1927 called The Burning Cross mm -hmm. that they imitated and started burning crosses to produce fear. What man in his right mind would take the symbol of what Christ died on mm -hmm. and set it on fire to put fear in the hearts of a man that God created? Mm -hmm. It was the work of the devil. Amen. And with the work of the devil, man picked it up and imitated it in real life. And it became known, and for the KKK, to put on white. Come on now. Put on white. To identify themselves as, as one, put on white, and then burn a cross. When the Lord said, all souls belong to me. But because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. Come on now, what do I need? I need peace. I need joy. I need strength. I need healing in my body. But you know what? He lets me rest in the meadow's grass. And he leads me be quiet beside the quiet streams. But well, there's a place of rest. I know that in the name of Jesus, yes. there's a strong tower oh, yeah. that the righteous run mm -hmm. into and are safe. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He restores my failing oh, health. And he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. That's why I say, say in his arms. Well, what does he help me to do that honors him the most? He helps me. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Lord, I'm trusting in you. But the enemy is coming up against me, trying to work another purpose in my life. But I'm saved. <laughs> That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. I'm saved in his arms. Psalm 91. Somebody pull it up for me on your phone, on your Bible, whatever you got to do. Psalm 91. Hallelujah. 
That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm protected. That's why I'm saved. That's why I'm covered. That's why I'm saved. Because his thoughts are toward me. Ha. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29 and 11. His thoughts are towards me. Thoughts of peace and good and not of evil. To give me a hope and an expectation. That expectation is pleasurable. When we talk about fear, fear says that I have an expectation of something bad happening. But when I have hope, I have an expectation of something pleasurable happening. That means I'm lining up with the word. Woo! No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk up rightly before him. The good thing. Amen. It doesn't say that we're not going to go through some trials. It doesn't say that we're not going to go through some troubles. Because when we go through troubles, they shake us. But they shuttle us, strengthen us, and establish us that we are able to stand. That's what we've been talking about in Luke chapter 8, that it brings about a perfection. It brings about a maturity in us that we won't be saying, oh, how I'm going to make it. We'll say, I know you can, and I know you will make a way. Psalm 91 read: Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell us what version you read. Psalms 91, 1. What version? King, the New Living Translation. All right, read it again. New Living Translation for Psalms 91 says, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High mm -hmm. will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Hold on, hold on. In order to find something, that means you need to be looking for it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but Pastor Gloria Dennis is looking for some rest. Amen. Amen. My body gets tired. Oh, yeah. And my soul needs rest. Amen. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Let me lean on you. you. All right, keep on reading. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge. Mm -hmm. Hold my, on. Hold my on. place of safety. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Read, read that section again. Read your verse 2, right? Mm -hmm. read, read that now. Psalms 9 1, verse 2. This I declare. Wait, 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 right there. We, we got, the, we're going we gonna to talk about this one right now. He said this. Uh-huh. This. We're going to get this, what the this is. He said this, I declare. Now, we know about declaring. This, I preach. This, I proclaim. This, I don't back down from. This, I say it loud. I say it bold and I say it proud. This right here. This. All right, now what is it this? I declare about the Lord, he alone is my refuge. Hold on. I'm talking about who? The Lord. The Lord. I'm talking about who? The, the Lord. Lord. I'm talking about who? The Lord. Am I talking about friends, cousins, uncles, aunties, mama, daddy? Nope. 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 Only the Lord. He oh, alone mm -hmm. is my refuge. My refuge. He alone. Alone. Mm -hmm. My place of safety. Hold on, hold on now. What is a refuge? They're giving us a definition because you remember, this is the Bible is a good uh, study tool. He says that the Lord is my refuge. Mm -hmm. So now, give me another name for what he is. He's my shelter. Okay, so a refuge is also a shelter. Shelter. All right, keep on reading. My place of safety. Hold on. So we already got a definition here. Mm -hmm. A refuge is a what? Place of shelter. shelter and uh -huh. safety. Uh huh. Safety. Because the Lord oh. is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadows' grass. And he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing health. 
And he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. Come on, refuge, shelter, place of safety. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. He is my God, and I trust him. Okay. Because the Lord is my shepherd, he is my God, and I trust him. Hold on. Give me the King James Version. Because we are getting some examples here. He said, he is my God, and I trust him. Don't worry, I'm, I'm okay. trying to get to it now. The New got King James Version. King James Version. Okay, King James. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, don't worry. I got it right here. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. My God. And what does it say, New Living Translation? You're back over there. So here we go. My fortress. Mm -hmm. That means that the fortress when we think about the castle, mm -hmm. a fortress has thick walls that are impenetrable. It's got these doors that are huge that just man alone can't push them. That's why when we talk about the strength of Samson, that he was supernatural. And all that he did, he's my fortress. So the only way you're going to get into me, Satan, is if the Lord allows for a time because my life is in Christ. Keep reading. Verse 3 For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He oh, will hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So now King James Version says, Surely. Surely, most assuredly, without a doubt, without question, surely, mm. without fail, mm. surely, sure. confidently, mm -hmm. surely, yeah. without having a second thought, surely, without having a fleeting passing look back moment, surely, he shall mm. deliver thee. From the snare of the fowler. And your what does the version say? He will rescue you from every trap. Okay, so a snare is a trap. Mm -hmm. The fowler, we know about this fowler because this fowler is the one that attacks from the head. It's the bird syndrome. Comes in to catch you. Fowl? Things of wind and things of air. Okay, so it's going to attack this. But it says not only is he going to protect this, he's going to protect this. Because remember, when we talk about the noisome pestilence, and what does yours say about the noisome pestilence? It is called what? Protect you from deadly disease. Okay, noisome pestilence. Pestilence is disease. And noisome, where it talks about deadly, means that it tries to cry out louder than the joy that's in you that says that the blood of Jesus is has already healed me. Noisome pestilence. It goes to scream louder. Have you ever had something in your life to go on? And I'm not just talking about natural. Um, you ever had something going in your life where in natural sickness or an event that has happened and you just say let not my heart be troubled I will not fear God is with me but whatever the situation is was trying to scream louder than your faith was being built in you you were just saying Jesus 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 and it was saying you out here by yourself God left you you been believing in this in this word in this gospel? Look where it got you, and it's just talking loud. Man. 
is poison trying to get in your system to make you doubt that that you know. So this is why we go through trial. Because we have to know that our weakest link is still strong. If your challenge is in your finances, but you can still give and help somebody while you're in need, you're being strengthened in that area. If the challenge is in tithing and you're looking at bills that are talking louder than your faith that says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, you're being tested. If the challenge is in your body and there's a toothache that's still pounding and pounding and pounding and you're like, oh God, I know that the Holy Spirit can go and apply to this and deaden this nerve until I have opportunity. Because I know the body is flesh. Until I have opportunity. I don't have the money right now to go to a dentist. But God, you are my dentist. You are my healer. And so I apply the word right here. And so, Lord, when I take this Tylenol, when I take this ibuprofen, when I take this orange gel, whatever it is, Father, I know that it's not just in the orange gel, but it's going to take you to put this thing to sleep. And I'm trusting you to do it. And I'm rebuking now all side effects from any medication that would try to to hinder the healing process in my body. In Jesus' name. Because the Lord is my shepherd and I have everything I need. Keep reading. Verse 4. He will cover you with this, with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. Mm -hmm. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His faithful promises are my armor to keep my heart. And remember, the armor not just keeps the heart, but it keeps our balance. Because certain things will hit us that will make you go, oh. Your stomach will be what's affected. That's why he talks about having tender bowels of compassion. Because we can be so hurt by things that that heart is already saying, mm. but he says the bowels of compassion. That that's down in your belly, where the living water flows from, this will sustain you. So that's why we can have joy and peace. Hallelujah. We're meditating on his word day and night that it make our way prosperous and that we have good success. So prosperous just doesn't talk about money. It talks about success and the fact that we're able to go out and come in. We're able to live. We're able to have joy and peace in every area. This is the type of prosperity that we have in the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. I know that here's y'all time to try to sing behind that woman's song. Amen, but amen is my song too. Glory to God, because the Lord truly is my shepherd. Hallelujah. So come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me.
praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Woo! Now get that in the King James Version. Man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give you a yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I will bless the Lord. Now I will praise the Lord. Glory to God. Psalm 91. Amen. Let's go back. It's in this one to find it. It's in there somewhere. Hey, Psalm ninety one. You said thirty four. Oh, Psalm thirty four. Oh, yeah, we just okay. yeah we just finished Psalm. <laughs> Amen. Psalm thirty four. Glory to God. And you keep that that other one. I did. We got a book with that one in it too. Glory to God. That New Living Translation. Amen. Right, Chim. And we're gonna we're going to keep rolling between them. Amen. Because what we're doing on today is we're focusing on how we're going to have the victory in everyday life. Now, this is the New Living Translation. Glory to God. Psalm 90, 34. Psalm 34. Amen. Psalm 34. Amen. Psalm 34. All right. Glory to God. I got me another read. Read, read up. Glory to God. Okay. Psalm. Oh, wait. Is this 54? 34. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. All right. Okay. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. continually be in my mouth. Oh, hold on a moment right there. Remember, we're talking about how to have a victorious life in Christ and have what this word of faith come alive in us. And the first word was, I will what? I will bless the Lord. Okay, now, we got the word bless right there, right? Amen. So now, what's, in, Sister Kima, what's the word in the New Living Translation for bless? Amen, because we got the, yeah, we got the, yeah, you're going to work today. Amen. Yeah, we need to have them. We read and read them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish you got this. I got to work with two Bibles in Jesus' name. I got a Bible that has on all the different. We will find it later. Psalm 91. Glory to God. Verse 1. Okay, 34 says, I will okay, praise Psalm the Lord. 91. Psalm 34. We don't Psalm 34. So, Psalm 34. I will praise the Lord at all times. Okay, all right. So, I will bless the Lord at all times. And what did that say? Praise. praise. Uh-huh. I will bless. I will 
praise. I will bless. I will praise. I will bless. I will praise. Okay, so we got to come. If we wonder what we're supposed to do, is anywhere where it says I will pout? No. Is there anywhere where it says I will mumble, grumble, and complain? No. Nope. No. It says I will bless and I will praise. All right, now. So now, if you go to the original, you know that I was a theologian studying that scripture. Oh, God. It talks about when it says bless the Lord, it says how we literally, you know, this talks about the culture of over in Asian countries. Okay. That word bless. Is the same blessing as in Psalm 103, where what you do is you reach when you go to meet the king, and I'm doing it from here so that you can they can see me on camera. When you meet the king, you go down before him on your knees, and you touch your face to the ground, and then you come up as if and you kiss their knees. Kiss their knees. Mm. It says that the Lord is sitting on a throne. And that we can bow down and worship him. Worship him. Oh, worship him. That is, you can bow down. Come, you kiss at his knees. Yeah. You got his feet. You got his knees. If we're serving the Lord, we should already be at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received. My side, and now I am happy all the day. So I'm at the cross of his feet where the blood is still flowing down, covering me. So now I get in his presence, and I kiss his knees. So when we come in here and we talk about. Bless oh, yeah. and praise. Mm. Then something ought to be happening. Yes. Ooh. It ought to be stir. You know if you, uh, you know, I don't have no boyfriend, <laughs> husband <laughs> yet. <laughs> Put that out there now. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although I am the bride of Christ, glory to God. God. But in the movies I've been watching. <laughs> All right. When they talk about stirring up the relationship, there is, I passed it on a TV show that they've got a show coming out. I don't know if it's on regular TV or some one of those internet TV stations. But anyway, it's talking about these couples are supposed to be on an island again and that <laughs> they're going to have them doing all kinds of things that will like find their hot spots and but they're supposed to do everything but kiss and mm -hmm. hug and but it's everything to stimulate your <laughs> and of course the little things that they have is you know like maybe something with i well i'm going to because i'm going to take us all out there but but think about it. <laughs> <laughs> the the tv show is going to be a whole season mm -hmm. of how to tickle your flesh mm -hmm. and quote unquote not sin in the game because you lose points if you end up kissing for real. <laughs> they get you to the level of where you've got to reach out to them, but then you actually kiss them for real, you lose points. Mm -hmm. So it's to make you. Excited. 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 That's a good word. Well, y'all was gonna help me find a word. Y'all right? was gonna help me find a word. Make you excited, but then if you act on it more than thinking on it, there's a, there's a points loss system. Now, can you imagine what kind of spirit that is? 
that's going to have single people, mm-hmm. married people. Can you imagine a wife who has a husband that has had high blood pressure and is on medications and they can't do like they used to do? But now they got a whole TV show to watch these little young ones. <laughs> <laughs> Flip the script. Flip the script. Okay. And put something in their minds. If they don't guard their eye gate, mm-hmm. their ear gate, mm-hmm. even their nose gate. Because mm-hmm. okay. you know when they start bringing out the chocolates and strawberries and all that kind of it's stuff. Smelling all these kind of things. Okay, and perfumes oh, and yeah. everything that's supposed to you know make a little rooster crop. <laughs> okay. All that's going to go on on the TV show. So can you imagine the audience watching the TV show in the studios or whatever seeing this along with the folks that are on the, you know, the session. The session. So this is all getting back to the fact that we talk about bliss. Bless talks about a relationship. I can't bless the Lord for you. Nope. And you show. Oh, shot top. You can't bless him for me. Because you don't know. Like, I know. What? He's done for me. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! I tell you, help me. Uh-huh. Because woo, David said, if I had ten thousand tongues, on, I couldn't on, get out enough sweet nothings out. Amen. I couldn't whisper in his ear yeah. enough. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I couldn't whisper in his ear enough. Woo, no. my, God. my God. I couldn't dance before him. You know how the king would have the wife come before him to dance, yeah. just so he could show her all. Uh-huh. That's what happened with that was what last time, Bad. and that's what happened. All right, that's what happened. With, y'all know the story. Somebody been watching the movies. Yeah, doing that. What happened with the story? How that went? Vashti wouldn't do it, and so she got kicked out. <laughs> she wouldn't go and dance before the king, so she got what? Kicked, kicked out. out. All right, you don't go and dance before the king when he called for you. Done. And see what happened. Yeah. I, 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 I saw the movie now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. If you don't <laughs> praise him, don't Man. you hear the me? You don't want to pra- <laughs> <Y'all ain't gonna laughs> right now. If that song said, you don't want to praise him, don't, don't you hinder me. Don't me. Don't you need something but dancing because dancing is what got John the Baptist hit. <laughs> oh, Come on now. Come on here. Yeah. Thank you, him. Hey, the power of the dance. Sometimes the Lord, you know, you be. Now, and this is the thing now. Let's be honest. Some folk can pick them up and pick put them down. down. Hey, and I be like, I stop dancing just to watch them say, my God, Holy Ghost, look at that. Mm-hmm. That was about 30 pounds lighter. Uh, had a little more rhythm in the hips. Okay. Right now I'm trying to get that hip to, you know, act right. And uh, walk like I need to walk. Amen. Man. Somebody, you know, y'all get me over with y'all. Know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, now. Amen. Some folk in their 40s and 30s know what I'm talking about. Man. But it say, let, let it just touch me a little bit. Lord, just give me a little something where I can just kind of wiggle at you. I'm going to wiggle it. Woo, Jesus. Get his attention. Get his attention. Yeah, come on now. Because I know his eyes are looking on me. Amen. But then if I go to give him a little prayer, not about my flesh, but it's about, Lord, you've been so good to me. That with all that is within me, with all of my body, I'm going to jump, I'm going to shout, I'm going to twist, I'm going to turn, I'm going to bend, I'm going to roll, whatever I can do woo, to let you know that I belong to you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you taking care of me. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. I belong to you. You take care of me. So that song says, Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. And so we want him to wrap us in his arms. Oh, yeah. Then that means what he said, I will take care of I bless 
And I will preach. Now go on now. You hey, my reader, I know she done got tired. <laughs> Psalm 34. See, I probably got the book right there. Mm -hmm. Psalm 34, verse 2. Mm -hmm. My soul. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got we gotta read it back here. Amen. Psalm 34, okay. verse 2. Um, I will boast only in the Lord that all who are discouraged take heart. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Is that right? That's your version. Yeah, okay. yeah keep, no, 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 I, 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 I need you to read it, all right? Keep on now, keep reading. Okay, um, come let us all, come let us all of the Lord's greatness, let us exalt his name together. Yes. Okay, now read that in the King James Version. Mm. I got my reader. She's going to read Psalm mm -hmm. 34, mm -hmm. verses 2 and Thank 3. Jesus. Take hold of shield and buckler. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Mm. Psalm my soul shall make his her boast mm -hmm. in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. All right. Now go back to the, to the other version you got. Because I yeah, we're gonna break this down. See, they 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 not gonna have to say glory or see. I will boast only in the Lord. All right, all right so so now that there you go. I mean, I'm gonna sound like I'm stuttering now uh -huh. because the Bible tells us that he he had stuttering lips when he was speaking to us. He said, Hey, 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 hey. Oh, listen, listen now, listen. Take heed how you hear. Listen, take heed. Amen. Be careful about, that's what we were studying on Luke 8. Take heed about how you hear. That was Luke 8 and 18. So now, all right, now, Maria, go back to now, say, read verse 2, starting at 1. 2, uh, verse 2. Verse 2. My soul, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Uh huh. The humble shall be. The humble there shall bear here thereof and be glad. Okay, now read that in the uh, New Living Translation. There you go. You go preach something up here for me. I will Thank boast God. only in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let all. I will boast in the Lord. Let all who are discouraged take heart. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so, if my boast is in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Anybody who is discouraged can take heart. Amen. And the word in the King James is be glad. Be glad. So if I bless him at all times mm -hmm. and his praise is continually in my mouth, boy, I'm going to keep my mouth keep kissing on some knees because that's how it's going to Can you imagine what kind of tingling that must be? Yeah. 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 Saying, oh, you just on kissing on my knees. Yeah. 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 I already got down the toes on the, you know, they already know about some cookie tummy. Now, they told me about the toes. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no hub. And I don't have no, but I heard about them toes. <laughs> got them toes. But, but yeah. you, get the, you get the creeping on up. Now, getting a little closer, and you get to the knee. You no. start kissing and breathing on the knee <laughs> with some blessings. <laughs> and they talk about entering into the secret place. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! He said, and those who are discouraged. Yes. So those that have no spouse, mm -hmm. those that feel that they have no help, mm -hmm. those that feel like they've been beat down, mm -hmm. those that feel like there is no hope, mm -hmm. it says they can take heart. They can be glad. There is hope. There is peace. Thank you. Thank you. But it's a responsibility. Yeah. Yes. And remember, and you got in the um the, the reason you said that the reason why Psalm 34 was written was because David found himself in a place he wasn't supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And he was fearing for his life. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in a situation where you kept following the drifting of the water? And then you find out you're really in an undercurrent mm -hmm. that was trying to drown you. And I'm talking about this in the in a natural sense, mm -hmm. um, but I'm using the symbol symbolism of when people are out there swimming, and you know the water's carrying you out with the current, 
and you can go out too far and be too deep yeah. and you struggling yeah. trying to go back to shore. And that's what happened. David was, he found himself in a place mm -hmm. where him being, he had already been fighting against this man. Mm -hmm. And so now he found himself before the man and his life was at stake. And David knew nothing else to do, but he started fiending, acting like he was an insane man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes, and I don't say sometimes, mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. and when we know that all we got is God to depend on, That's it. then you'll listen a little better. Mm -hmm. You will be, you will heed how more so you hear. And it was nothing but the Holy Spirit that told David what to do. Mm -hmm. David, start acting like you are insane. Mm -hmm. Spitting and slobbering all over yourself. <laughs> howling like a dog or a wild mm -hmm. animal. You know, like strip your clothes, whatever you got to do. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you what it's going to take mm -hmm. to pull you out of the situation you in. Mm. For some of us, it means, hey, God, oh, God help me, oh, Jesus. hey, God, oh, 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 oh. I ain't gonna do it no more, I ain't gonna do it no more, I ain't gonna do it no more, help me, help me. Y'all ever been, no, wait a y'all ain't had a whooping like y'all ain't had a whooping before. <laughs> Have y'all not had a whooping? That I had you rolling on the floor and I ain't gonna do it. I'm kicking. I had my with Amen. Amen. Enough to make you make up your own Amen. mind that you're gonna remember better the next time. This was one of those situations for David. Because David was gonna be called. It may seem crazy. Some things that you do. But if it's going to get you to the point in God where you have had your life saved, do it. So this is why he's saying, I will bless him at all times. Because when it was up to me, my neck was on the chopping block. But now I know him for myself as a deliverer because I was before the presence of my enemy and I had no helper but the Lord. And he said, when I tell this testimony to you, you can rejoice that I may. And know that God will keep you too. Amen. Amen. That's it. All right. Come on, Rita. You can. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you read a little bit first. Okay. Amen. Which 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 trend you doing? Our New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. Still on thirty. Psalm thirty four. Psalm thirty four. Verse three. Verse three. They looked unto him and were lightened. Oh wait a minute. Oh magnify the Lord. Lord. With me, and let us exalt his name together. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> That's King James Version. Mm -hmm. Oh, magnify. Now, let's think about that. I know in the English, somebody know what magnify means? Make great. Make great. Do, 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 show bigger. me the demonstration of it, bro. Magnify. Bigger. 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 And he, this is what he did. He magnify. said, magnify. hey. Big. Big. Hey. Hands hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. <laughs> He's a big God. He's a great God. He's a big God. He's a great God. And so you know what? I found him to be big. I found him to be great in this. And then I had to trust him in something else. And I found him to be big and great in that. Then I had to trust him in something else. And I found him to be big. Bigger. And greater. So they said what? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. You need to rejoice in the fact that I made it over. Amen. Amen. You rejoice in the fact that I made it over because guess what? 
Amen. It's encouraging you to know that you can make it on. Y'all know that y'all know we gotta sing a song, right? Yeah. All right, I got my sister back there. They go back. They may remember this though. Through trials and tribulations, I made it over. 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 Through trials and tribulations, I made it over. I made it over. And the victory is mine forevermore. Woo! Through trials and tribulations, say I got, I got the victory. I got, I got the victory. I got, I got the victory. Through trials and tribulations. I got, I got the victory, and the victory is mine forevermore. All right, read us Psalm 34. We down to verse 4. Four. Oh, glory. Uh-huh. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. All right, I need you on the microphone for that. Uh -huh. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my cares. All right, somebody can help me on this word. What, what does sought mean? Look for. Look for. I look for. So that meant that there were some things that came in my life that caused me to look, 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 look for. Okay, I had to look for him. Amen. Amen. And, if, and when I went to look for him, that means that I put my affections, my attentions on looking for him in that word. For direction, I look for him because I look for people to give me his word. And then I talked with the Lord myself. I needed his direction, so I sought. I didn't just peek and glance, mm -hmm. but I searched, oh, you searched. out understanding. Of his word and his will concerning me. Mm -hmm. Come on, all right, we're gonna keep on reading on that verse four. All right, and you said now when I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me mm -hmm. from all my fears, and delivered me from all my fears. Go to the New Living Translation on that because you know we got. We 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 got some understanding. We 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 we. You stop stuttering again. We 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 gonna get this. We gonna get this down. This this right here, the last one right here. This says, "I pray to the Lord and He answered me, freeing me from all my fears." Wait a minute. So if I'm looking for Him in His Word, mm -hmm. I'm looking for Him in my conversational prayer. He said, "I prayed. I prayed to the Lord." So now, this is the difference. If the, we says, I sought the Lord, and this word says, I prayed to him, then that ain't just, well, Lord, if you're going to do something, you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> you either do or you don't. No, uh, 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 uh. I'm going to pray, which means I'm going to make supplication. I'm going to look towards you because I know your word says, that if I am double-minded and I'm thinking, well, I can try Jesus for five minutes and if he don't answer in five, then I'm going to go back to Jerry. <laughs> you know, we know about Tom and Jerry. We're going to play the cat and mouse game. <laughs> so he's like, no, you can't do cat and mouse game. I'm going to seek the Lord. And when I seek him with my whole heart, he says, he will hear. And he will says he will hear me from his holy mountain, and he will answer. Hallelujah! Keep on reading and right, keep it right on there. And um, do about five, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, five. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep on. I'm not gonna stop you. you do okay. Five, six, seven, eight. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and mm -hmm. saved him out of all his troubles. Mm -hmm. The angel of the Lord encamped of campus around about them that fear him and delivereth them. Mm -hmm. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Lord. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. 
That's the King James Version. I go to that New Living Translation and read 5 through 8. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. I cried out to the Lord in my suffering, and he heard me and set me free from all my fears. Okay. For the angel of the Lord guards all who fear him and rescues them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who trust in him. Wow. Wow. Awesome. wow. So let them knees taste good about yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tell you. <laughs> oh, to bless him. Yeah. Because he says, I went to him in prayer. I went to him in communication. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to read anymore, so you good? Oh, good. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much, sister. We are so... Oh, wow. He says, when we bless the Lord, he said, I was thinking about how he rescued me. He delivered me from all my fears. I cried out unto him. I made it loud. Oh, God, I need you. Oh, I need your help. Because I'm in a situation that they're going to tear my behind up mm -hmm. and choke me to death. Mm -hmm. Cut my. And remember back then, because they wanted to make a spectacle of when they, when somebody rebelled, you know mm -hmm. how they did back in slavery times too? Mm -hmm. They would make an example out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just wouldn't have had your head cut off. They would have just, they would have called all these people around. They would have probably had some yeah. type of tortures, mm -hmm. you know, stuff going on. And then they would have finally, after they got tired of you know tearing you up, then they would have finally killed you. Oh, yeah. uh, they would have just left you out there for the buzzers to start picking on you. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't have been just that they just cut your head off. Mm -hmm. So he knew that there would have been just like with Jesus. Then they tear. Oh my God! They whipped him all night long. Oh yeah. Spitting on him, pulling out his beard, all of these things. They just could just crucify him. Mm -mm. It was all of this other stuff mm -hmm. just to make an example yeah. out of him because he went against mm -hmm. what they wanted. So this is what will happen. That sometimes, so David said, I was the poor man. Mm -hmm. And I cried out to God, God, you don't want to get me out of this. Mm -hmm. It's all around me. They camp about me like bees. And he said, God heard him and covered him. Remember that song? Yeah. That he said he covered him and delivered him from all of his fears. So throughout this week, I want our focus and focus fixed on Christ's undeniable salvation. Fixed on Christ's undeniable salvation. You know that there is something that God delivered you out of. Amen. Whatever those things, and I'm going to tell you Greek because it's more than one. Amen. However you've been delivered, whatever song of victory the Lord has given you concerning it, when you think on it, and then you think on it and say, when he plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flow. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He brought me and taught me with his redeemer. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. And then whatever we got to do, whatever the song is, whatever the song is, Whatever the song is, whatever, I mean, if it's just thank you, Lord, or Jesus will work it out. Oh, yeah. Or he made a way. Or he'll a healer. He'll a healer. He'll a healer. Jesus is his name. Whatever he is. We have got to fight mm -hmm. the good fight of faith. Oh, yes. This is the month that the heat is on. Mm -hmm. And we need to know 
the name of Jesus. Yes, we need to know the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to know that name. And when we know that name, it gives us victory. And this is what we've got to do. We've got to fight. Fight. Now that don't mean in the natural, just because, because so if somebody comes up on you this week and says something a little, mm-hmm. little raunchy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. love on them, love on them, do good unto them that despitefully misuse you, because all it is is that they were being used by the devil oh, for them little three or four minutes, mm-hmm. and then guess what? Because yeah. when you go to act out, mm-hmm. the word says. Anger, but sin not. That means you being used by the devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the greater cause is on you because the test came to you. Mm-hmm. And a soft answer turns away wrath. Mm-hmm. Grievous words stir up anger. That's the word, right? Mm-hmm. That's the word? Yeah. Amen. It's in there. Hallelujah. Yeah. You go there, you'll find it. Amen. It's in that old testament. I ain't gonna tell you what book, because you can go right on your cell phones now and look for it and say, soft answer turns away wrath. And the, and the phone will pull it right up for you. Don't take my word for it. Apply the word. All right. So on this on this week, that's what we want to do. We're gonna continue out this month on the 20th and 21st, which is the fasting time. 2021 for sure word fellowship we are not eating anything hot those two days so if you said it to say well i'm not going to be able to do it all 24 hours not to eat anything hot then set a time if it's if you say from 12 to 6 i will not eat anything that's hot and hot i mean is in heat so if you eat a hamburger, it's a cold burger. This is probably cold anyway. You get it. You get it. <laughs> 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 but what I mean by not eating anything hot, so that means that you know salads, sandwiches, um, if it's you know if it's tuna or something like that, not a hot tuna sub. It's got to be a cold tuna sub. You get me? Mm-hmm. If you eat the string beans, they're gonna be cold string beans, not. Not that you put them in the microwave for 10 minutes and heat them up, okay? Mm-hmm. So whatever foods you can stand to eat cold, that's what you're going to do. Because, and I'm going to give you the scriptures and all that behind why you've chosen this. And you'd be like, you know, wow, that's something kitty to do. I didn't say starve. I just said don't eat anything that's heated up. That's fine. All right? Don't eat anything that's heated up. And, and this is because... When we start, or when we start talking about how we need this word to be like fire, oh, yeah. shut up in our bones. Oh, amen. We want to be so convicted, mm-hmm. not condemned, but convicted by this word that it heats up our passion for God. Yes, yes. So on the twentieth and twenty-first, eat. You can eat all day long, you can eat all night long. Just those two days, don't eat it hot. That word that we eat ought to resonate in us as a heat and provoke us to study, provoke us to pray, provoke us to sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs unto the Lord our God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray over us even now for that. Father, just as we have had example on today of your word and how that word we to contend for the faith. God, we're to fight against all the obstacles that come. We can listen to all type of songs throughout the day. But Lord, let it be a song that comes from our heart concerning your love for us in our love towards you. Let us, oh God, kindle up that fire by, Lord God, allowing the fresh winds, the refreshing winds of your love and compassion and passion on us. Let it it get us hot. 
where we have such an ember burning in us that, Lord God, we don't want it to be quenched, but we want men to see that light in us that is that city that sits on a hill and can't be hid that they desire to be glad in you. So, Father, as we choose that our lives would bless you at all times because you provide so much for us. We thank you for the victory, God, that on the 20th and 21st of July, that, Lord, our flesh is put under subjection to say that if we could think that this word that we're eating is cold and that this word does not have power and life in it, Father, that this word is not hot to us and that we can't handle it any kind of way. God, just as God the prophet Ezekiel had to have the coals that the angel couldn't even touch them themselves, the angel had to take tongs and grab the coals from the fire and touch his lips with God that instrument. You know, God, what needs to be hot and burning on our lips and in our soul. And so, Father, for everyone that chooses to participate in some way, form, or fashion, I stand in agreement now, God, that you honor their fast. And, Father, take them to a closer level in you. Give them victory and power over the flesh to be able to stand. And, Father, do just like as if it was a storm. <laughs> Because truly there are some storms of life that are raging. Yeah. And just like in storm times, God, when we don't have electricity, we ate for two and three and four days things that were cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how much more so would it be easy for us when we set our minds to do this, that we can do it and do it to the glory of God. We speak now of our bodies, Father, that we choose the right choices that even when we eat something cold, God, that if it's a carrot raisin salad, um, that we also offset it, Father, with things that are not sweet. For Lord God, you know our bodies even more so than we know them. So we speak now these bodies to be under subjection. That Lord God, that we be in health and prosper, even as our soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah, amen. amen. We have a can do and will do. Yeah. Unto the Lord. Yeah. Because Luke, when he goes over in, in chapter 8, verse number 20, he says, those that hear and do. I'm like, most of smiling or something. He says, hear and do the will of my Father. Those are the ones who are my brothers and sisters and my mother. So we want to all be in that family of God together. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. So um, as we are preparing ourselves, even in our giving, on today truly we want to worship the Lord in our giving unto him. Amen. We are we know that as tithers, amen. I've got my sisters back there. Now make sure that the envelopes I will look to see if they will. Amen. All right, excellent, excellent. And that they are being distributed out. But we know that the word tells us that we are to give unto the Lord. And when we give unto Him, the glory that is due unto His name, hallelujah, that He's the one <laughs> that uh, will bless us. And so, even as uh, those, as tithers, hallelujah. We know that when we give unto the Lord, the tithe is considered holy. It is considered that 10% that the Lord puts his approval on. And when the Lord puts his approval on it, um, amen, that's what, it's not what I consider holy, it's what the Lord considers holy unto him. So we thank the Lord that as we tithe, he says that he will rebuke the devour for our sakes. He will open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we don't have room enough to receive. It says that our fruit will not fall to the ground before time. And this is what's important to us, that our fruit not fall to the ground before time. And this is also coming to us because of his word. Amen. His word tells us how we can be mature. 
give it to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord God, for uh, God, that our heart toward giving because that means that we love you. And Lord God, when we love you, our love can increase because we can bless you even in our giving. Father, so we know that when we give unto the Lord, hallelujah, that it's just lent to him because he is the one that will overflow in us, give up back to us, hallelujah. And so we thank you, Father, that we're giving unto you and we're giving out of compulsion. Nobody's choking our necks and saying, do this. We're doing it because we desire to have a good heart that we do this. And so we thank you, Father, for what you're doing for us. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 So somebody got a song for me as we were finished up. Amen. We got this. We got this. The song that came to mind. Because you all know I have one. I know you do. <laughs> I don't have no doubt. <coughs> Oh, that all right. Hi. Amen. Did you want to lead it off? Uh-uh. Okay. okay, then. All right. So we have a song. Amen. And we're going to do this song in our closing. It says, This morning when I rose. For the strategies that you give us, God, strategies on how to fight the good fight of faith and to walk in victory throughout the week. And so, Father, as we go forth in this victory of knowing that we can sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs, making grace and melody in our hearts towards you, our God, that you will keep us in all of our ways. So peace be within our walls and prosperity within our palaces. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.